Okay, I'm, I'm back. It's the next day, guys, and uh, that joystick on my eyes was really bothering me, so what I figured we'd do is, um, is I would take it, take it out, and uh, sure enough, this is how the joystick was, was in there, you know, coming from the bottom. I mean, I have the control panel upside down, so it had the, um, the cone facing upwards, if you, if you can see that like that, um, which I... When I look at the directions, and I'm going to show this back at the bench because I, I learned some other stuff um, last night after I finished the videos, but I don't believe that's the way this is. They had a whole bunch of goop on it as well, like some type of grease or something. Maybe somebody greased it or something. And then I took off, I don't want to really disassemble everything because everything's soldered on here, but I just took off the bottom. Let me see if I can... You can definitely see that it's, uh, if I can get the shadow out, um, that's like a four-way on the, on the bottom side. And then when I took this off, this is exactly how this was in there with the, now remember the joystick's upside down, but this, um, the higher part of the centering grommet should be going this way. And then I lifted this off and they had both washers <laughs> sitting this way. This one goes on the bottom and the black one goes on the top. So at least all the parts are there. And we can see also that this is a, a four-way restrictor on the base plate too. So I'm just going to clean it up and put it back together the correct way. But uh, this is a four-way um, on this eyes. It's a four-way and I'm going to bring this joystick back because it's actually a little bit longer. It's a skinny um, Wico joystick um, handle, but it is a I think longer because of the wood control panel. It's a little bit longer than the the short. So this is a skinny long versus the skinny short, and I'll, I'll show those. Um, but anyway, the moral of the story is check your joysticks. Probably, I guess. I mean, th this one was completely assembled. Um, incorrectly and maybe that's why Jimbo you know it was kind of messed up this joystick um, when he was playing it up at um, bro fest I think so but anyway there you go okay so back at the bench here and um, I switched up my beers anyway so I guess we're not done after all because this is raging bitch uh, Belgian IPA Belgian style IPA flying dog brewery it's pretty good so I think it's like 8.3%, uh, so can't have too many. But um, I thought we were done yesterday, and then I just got even you know, more interested in this stuff. And so I started researching more and a ton of information on Clove, etc. But it's hard to find these installation instructions. But if you guys can see that, um, this one here is for the four and one sixty-fourth inch long ball handle. So this is the what they call the Wico or Wico um, skinny joystick, um, and that's you know for this joystick right here, um, four and uh, one sixty-fourth inch. Uh, I'm trying to think of the diameter of this. Um, hmm. I'll come back to that. There's a specific diameter of this as well. And then this one over here is for the uh, 4 and 49 64 inch. And the difference really between these two, if you guys can see them that way, yeah, I think so, um, is the difference between, there's like, um, the difference between where the E clip is, the di that diameter there is what goes through the grommet and everything so that diameter mate is the same on all these skinny sticks and it's basically about one and I don't know let's see that's uh, 15 sixteenths or something like that I mean it's pretty close almost almost two inches um, but the difference because this one's out of my uh, um, Rockola eyes and you can see the difference is the part that's between the handle and that first little um, indentation. See how much shorter that one is.
So it's about a, almost like an, an inch difference or three quarters of an inch difference, which is usually the thickness of a, the wood, if you will. So skinny um, long goes in like I think a lot of Rockola games and the skinny short goes into games with a uh, metal control panel um, like a like the Taito's or Taito or Taito whatever like a uh, Jungle King and um, Zookeeper etc so and they're both using the skinny and let's see if, what else I can mention um, it does it does say that the actuator let's see if you guys can see that if I zoom in there there you go hopefully that's focused but uh, it says the actuator for a two and four way joystick is 0.5 inches and for the eight way it's 0.6 inches um, so what I figured we'd do is this is the actuator that was up you know in um, it's, it was installed incorrectly on my uh, um, eyes cabinet but we can check I think I have the actuator here all right, I'll pause for a second and get my um, other actuator for my eight-way that um, that was new in stock. So the other thing is, if you remember the uh, in the Rockola eyes, it was definitely a four-way. It didn't have a circle um, for the restrictor plate, and this one is definitely an eight-way. Um, so for for the um, Jungle King or or something like that. So it has a round around the restrictor on both the base plate and on the bottom whoops I'll be right back okay so let me actually take this off I probably forgot my um okay good so there's definitely a difference um, between these two if you can see them this is the eight way this is the eight way over here and this is the uh, four way that came out of the eyes if you look at them this way you can see there's a difference there as well um, let me hold up a tape measure to it kind of I guess it says a half an inch yeah it looks like about a half an inch I guess for the four-way and then for the eight-way it's supposed to be Point six. <laughs> point six um, inches. Let's see. Yep, it is. It's not that much bigger, but it definitely is bigger than half an inch. So um, I don't know if you guys could see that because I wasn't looking at the camera. But there we go. That might be a little bit easier. So you kind of get an idea there versus the four-way. Um, they're both, you know, kind of have a, a skinny part and then a cone shape for the skinnies. And I just looked it up. The skinnies are, I think, use a quarter inch or roughly, at least that's what it says on Arcade Shop makes replacement grommets. Um, like this arcade shop I think has some of these and there was somebody on claw that reproduced them as well but the these uh, quarter inch grommets um, go on the skinny sticks and the 3 8 inch grommet like this goes on the um, what they call the heavy duty sticks or, or the, and they're a little bit thicker obviously so the 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 games that use these uh, quarter inch and um, um, and skinny weak Wicko sticks are like um, I think Sega Frogger um, for the Rockola games it's like Eyes Fantasy Jump Bug Pioneer Balloon and I would assume all of them have the longer uh, stick if you will and then for for Taito um, you know Armored Car Puyon or Puyan, whatever, um, Scramble, that's the Stern actually. Um, some of the Stern games, I guess, use probably, I think those are wood control panels, but they also use the, the skinny uh, Wickos. 
And the Taitos are like a front line, kicks, zookeeper, etc. So um, those are the ones that use use these skinnies. Uh, let's see if I show anything here. Yeah, so also on the... Um, this right here is the, the heavy duty... Um, Wicko sticks are the thicker ones. So those are the 3 8 inch diameter um, grommets. And it says here like the switch actuator is also different. I showed you I think an 8 way one somewhere. This is like similar to an 8 way. There we go. And you can't really see it. It's inside the thing. But this one right here has the 4 way. So the 4 way is um, 0.5 inch diameter and you can see that and the 8 way is, is thicker so it's kind of uh, you can't really see it but it's like that's an 8 way um, actuator on that one so we, we kind of already went over that I'm trying to give you guys a lot of information because I just found it interesting I went in on Google and uh, looked up some of the patents because it said patent pending on these and so I was curious what uh, Wicco patents were out there, um, what they were pat, pat, um, trying to get patents on, or they did actually get patents on. And one of the patents is actually for this kind of um, leaf switch um, assembly. So um, I don't know. What, let me see if I have the title of that patent. Let's see. Snap-in switch mounting structure. That's what that patent is called, and it's for this one right here. Um, so when you see those, that's partially um, one of the patents they had. The other patent that they had was we were talking about the metal being um, put inside the plastic. There's an interesting, it's, um, that one is called Joystick Assembly with wear member that's what it's called but it's really about all about putting that encasing this plastic with a, a piece of metal to prevent the plastic from wearing away too fast um, so that was kind of um, an interesting thing that you know obviously a lot of people that did knock off wicko sticks um, um, leveraged and I think let's see if there was one more oh the other thing that they patented is uh, we talked about this little switch blade cover here. That is uh, one of their patents too. So to protect the uh, the leaf switch, they um, patented this uh, the the assembly or the attachment of this lightweight plastic thing. And I think there was one more. Oh, it was it had to do with the the buttons themselves. So I, I do I have a button. I don't think I do. Um, the other thing they patented is uh, this type of actuator. Actually, I have a new inbox. I think I have a new inbox. Um, I just got this today, actually. It says um, four way or eight way micro um, switch joystick. And you, and you can see the different actuator types. So it's a kind of like a the traditional plastic square looking actuator for eight way and then it's a little more rounded for the four way actuator and this is did I take that out? so this is a four way joy, um, joystick you can see the actual um, dimple there on, on this one as well and you can see that it's oh, it's four way Oh, it has a four-way actuator, but it doesn't. But for the micro switch, at least, it looks like they're it's it's round, so they probably didn't change anything as far as that goes. Um, that's kind of interesting, right? <laughs> I don't know if that's the case, or or maybe I got some switched-up parts or something. Um, yeah says it's it's a uh, square so it kind of would look like oh actually 
I think this is the joystick. This is the joystick that came came with it. Actually, it's an eight-way. Um, so the, you see this little um, brick-looking uh, square actuator, and that's for the eight-way. Um, and it is a round restrictor plate. So okay. So I think I, I covered the other parts I wanted to cover, which was really. The differences, there's a couple different heights. I think there might even be three different heights of the skinnies. We know that there's two different heights of the, what they call the heavy duty or the 3 8 inch. There's the 4 inch uh, like Robotron style and there's also the 3 and a half inch. And let's see, I think that's it except for I want to fix um, my Rockola cabinet real quick so the, my eyes cabinet because it was kind of jacked up so I figured we'd do that is there anything else no let's go fix the Rockola cabinet hopefully some of this made sense and I could uh, talk through it somewhat coherently so talk to you guys a little bit we'll be back um, with the eyes cabinet. okay so we're, we're back at the eyes cabinet I'm going to reassemble this the correct way I don't know why it was um, wrong to begin with. But the first thing we gotta do is put the joystick through. And then we're gonna put in our black washer. And then with the cone shaped, you can see that that goes down and the flat, more flat side, what's well, opposite, I guess. This goes towards the ball top. Like that and then we put the metal washer on the bottom and then lastly we slide this um, the bottom actuator on and I'm just going to screw these in just enough to hold everything in place And the actuator goes with the is supposed to go with the cone shape, so the skinny side, you can see that the skinny side goes towards the ball handle, and the cone side um, faces the is near the leaf switches. Um, so and there is no um, no spring on the skinnies, as you can see. So that's it. Wicked shadow, huh? So screw this in. I'm just kind of interested to play it. I didn't even, you know, sand. I could have probably sanded down that joystick handle and make it a little bit better, but I'll save that for when I restore this cabinet. I just uh, got, I just cleaned it up and moved it down here. It worked, so I didn't really go to town on it or anything, obviously, because this joystick was jacked up. But I think for now on, whenever I, before I bring, you know, a cabinet down, I should have been doing this all along, is to actually disassemble the joystick, you know, check the gaps on the leaf switches, um, etc. So, all right, let me uh, fire it up and just play a quick game for you guys. Okay, before I turn the lights off and play a game, I was just like checking the joystick. The grommet looked good to me. Um, it does center, you know what I mean? I don't know, like, it seems a little soft to, you know what I mean? But, um, I don't know. The grommet looked, looked good to me. There wasn't cracks or anything like that. So I don't know if this is one of the people talk about a soft rubber grommet versus hard. Usually the, the Wicco grommets are pretty stiff. So it's like kind of, but this one seems like it's, you know what I mean? So anyway, um, I'll be right back and we can. Okay, let's see if it makes any difference. I suck at this. I, I suck at this game anyway. I don't know any patterns or anything. I just, I just go. 
if you want to know how to play this game, watch uh, Jimbo's stuff. Jimbo Dini on Clove. I don't know if I can tell the difference, but... I can't tell the difference in, in um, joystick play, probably. Lucky there. Oh crap. <laughs> I, I told you I suck at this game. Uh. Is the joystick better? I don't know. I mean, it's definitely assembled correctly now. doing better than I normally do, so maybe the joystick is making a difference. Almost done. <laughs> there we go. All right, that was the that was my bad game. So, but hey, see, I'm in the Hall of Fame. That's because I don't have a high score save on this. But anyway, I think the I think it did feel a little bit better to me. I guess I don't know. Interesting. So once again. A little shout out to oh you can't even see it oh well raging bitch by flying dog brewery that's a it's a really good beer little, real quickly we got the what other games i have on we got gyrus right there a little junior pack action i need to do a, like a little video walkthrough of my arcade i guess miss pac-man I just only have this one row of games on here, so. Alright guys, talk to you later. Hopefully my uh, journey uh, through learning about Wicco joysticks, or the, at least the Leaf Switch versions, uh, has benefited somebody. Cheers.